you're saying your vows, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And then you just kind of relax your shoulders for a sec and boom. Lexus Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lexus Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day, what is up? Today's video I'm super excited about because it is another edition of my wedding related series of trying now wedding dresses. Before we get started, I did just want to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to help you build a beautiful online presence and run your business, which we will be talking about a little bit later in the video. If you don't know, which I would be surprised if you didn't know, I'm engaged to be getting married, yeah. And I am in search for the perfect wedding dress that is the most environmentally friendly. So I've done secondhand dresses, specifically sustainable brand wedding dresses. And today I'm trying out rental wedding dresses from Rent the Runway. Technically I did rent five items, but one of them is a veil and I did have to pay extra for it because you only get four items a month, depending on what package you buy or whatever, which Rent the Runway is a rental service where they have different casual clothing items, more formal clothing items, and even accessories. They're really great for homecoming or potentially going to a wedding or getting married. I think the idea of reusing an item is really awesome. With rental services, I feel like they make the most sense when it is for things like this, where you really only need it once. I know some people like to keep their wedding dresses because of the significant memories that come with that wedding dress. For anyone, that doesn't really care about that. I think this is a really great option. With Rent the Runway, I think they have like three different packages. I chose the least expensive one. You pay like 60 or $80 and you get four items a month. You only can have them for like four or five days, which like I said, I did have to pay more for a fifth item. It was like $30 and that amount will charge every month unless you cancel. One thing I didn't realize is you can only rent stuff that week. Like if you have a specific date, say, at the end of the month that you need that specific dress, you have to pay extra to reserve it. So a lot of the dresses I actually wanted to try, I couldn't because they weren't in stock. I feel like it's a really last minute type of thing. So keep that in mind. So let's try on the wedding dresses that I rented from Rent the Runway. Alrighty, so we have the first bag now. So the retail value of like everything that I ordered would come to $1,548, which I got five items, one of them being a veil. So I think that's like, financially pretty good because I only paid, I think a hundred dollars. All right, ooh, got my veil right here. Ooh, so pretty. I did get a shorter one because a lot of these dresses are shorter. Here is our first one. This is what it is. I got most of these in like a six. One of them is a four. You put in like your height and your weight and it will recommend a size. I also took a look at reviews and photos to get an idea potentially how it'll fit on me. I really wanted to try out a kind of like lace dress. I think lace detailing on your chest and also your arms, I think is a really pretty detail. And I just wanted to kind of give it a go. So it just looks like this. I really like the lace on there. It is ivory, which I think is really pretty on this. I really like this detail. I think that's really pretty on the neck really like the top part of it. I do wish it was a little bit longer. The arm seems really tiny. This is, oh, okay. No, it works. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so this is the first dress that I am trying. Size-wise, it fits perfect. I love the front of it, like the top. Love the sleeves. This part, absolutely love it. So pretty. The only thing which I kind of already knew is I don't love the bottom of it. I don't love this. I understand the point of it to kind of separate the bottom and the top and to look a little bit more flattering. I just think if it was a little bit in at the waist and then kind of poofed out a little bit, then I think it would be a little bit more flattering. But I mean, I think it's cute if you want a very like low key type of dress. And again, like this, like I think is so nice. It does have this on the neck, which I thought I was gonna like a little bit more. It isn't as like big, so it doesn't make too much of an impact, but it's just a cool little kind of detail to the dress. Dun, 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 dun. Is that, wait, no, that's the, it's the presidential song. I think it's a flattering look. The veil is a bright white, whereas this is then ivory, so it, does kind of like clash together, but I mean, you don't really notice it. I really like veils. I think they're very pretty, but it also kind of reminds me of like a canopy. Is that what it's called? Like bed canopy? It's an option. And that's what this is about. This was me kind of venturing into different styles that I've never tried before. I just don't think it's this one. Next we have, okay. I'm probably most excited for this one because 
originally looking at it, I was like, I don't know what I think about it. Like it's a shorter dress, so it doesn't really give me like wedding dress vibes, but I really like the silhouette of it and I think it could be really pretty. I was looking at the reviews and seeing other people wearing it and I just thought it looked really pretty on them. I am hopeful. It does say that it is in white, but it does look a little bit off white. Just goes like right there and oh, I guess it is really white. Then, oh my gosh, and it has pockets. Always good. I feel like it could potentially just look like a potato sack on me. So this one I am so sad about because it is so pretty. I think it is, yeah, I think it's so beautiful, especially like, I don't know, if you're not really feeling like a tight dress, I think this is actually really pretty. It doesn't look like a potato sack like I thought it was gonna look like. And the pockets are cool. I think it looks really pretty with the veil. The one thing that I hate about this, which could be potentially because it has been reused so many times or it's just how the dress has been made. I thought it was gonna have some sort of elastic on the sleeve so then it actually stays up because if I don't have my hands like this, if it's something that was purchased, then you could just add your own elastic into it. You could also use like boob tape to keep it up. So that is an option. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. There's no way people have been able to wear this. I think I need to reread the reviews. I don't think I really looked at them enough for this dress because somebody somebody has had to say something because like if I don't want it to go down, I have to wear it like this. Really sad about this one. I really thought it was gonna be a winner you know this next one is super pretty i think the details of it look amazing at least on the model i got it in a small regular i don't believe they had a medium and it was recommending me a small so we will see the only thing is in the photo it looked like there was something kind of covering the boob because it is basically sheer i don't know if it actually has that so that would be something where you would need like some sort of like nipple cover because then there's like a pretty deep v this one does have a tag on it which i don't think any of them have tags oh it's reversible oh so you can wear it two different ways okay i do prefer the like lace around the boob more i think it is very beneficial to rent a dress that you think you do want to rent for your wedding or special occasion before like way before that occasion actually happens so you can really get an idea of how it Fits. Out of all of them right now, I think this is the only one that I could see wearing and that's because I love the length, I love the details on it, I love a lot of stuff going on. What I don't love is the top portion being so sheer, so this is one of the ways to wear it. You can wear it also like the other way. I do have this lace white bra and I just put that on there. It definitely would be something where you would have to get some sort of like nipple cover for because it is sheer. If it just had like an extra layer of fabric or if you had a bodysuit that was lace like similar color because even though it says it's white, it's definitely more of an ivory. But I just, I love, like, I love the neck. I love this. I feel like it's a great length. It is still quite see-through on the bottom. I just have some black bike shorts under it. Great length. Really like this bottom portion. And then we have a curveball for you because I couldn't find any other white dresses that went with what I was looking for. This one is gold. I got it in a six petite. I figured if I got petite, then it wouldn't be as long. I really liked the silhouette of it, especially the back, it looked so pretty on the model and customer photos. They had a white one that I would have preferred to try, but they didn't have it available in my size at the time that I needed. It does remind me of a dress that would honestly be at Forever 21, but I mean, we'll see what it looks like. I liked the halter top look of it. So I kind of already knew this when I ordered it that I would probably not like it because of the color. I'm not in love with this like champagne gold color specifically for what I personally want to wear for my wedding. It was more of the like actual fit that I really wanted to try and I do love the fit. Personally, I really like the length. So if you are renting a wedding dress on Rent the Runway and you want one that's not too long but still like long because obviously you can't get these altered because you're just renting them, go for a petite, depending on like how tall you are. Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna love the color, so we're just gonna take that and throw it away. The thing I don't like about it the most is the sparkly sequence because things are getting caught on it. Like the dress itself is getting caught on itself when I was trying to like put it on. It was already kind of like snagging. Fuzzies were like everywhere and I don't know where the fuzzies came from. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look good with a veil because it's 
I don't know, just the material is like mixing and I think it looks a little bit off. But I like this like swishy though. That's cool. All right, yeah, that went very different than how I thought it was gonna go. I thought there was gonna be one that really like stood out and I think the off the shoulder one would have if there was an elastic, but I really like the shape of it. And I think if I were to do a shorter dress, I would want it to be poofier. I think if it's just like straight up and down for me, it just makes me feel like I'm in a suit dress or something. I don't know, it's just not my taste. Again, like I said, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. You can create a website that brings your your ideas to life. Start with any website template that they offer and customize it to fit your needs. Whether you're making a portfolio, a blog, or online store, you can look like an expert right from the start. I've been working on my own online store. I'm still currently working on it. So for myself, their commerce tools are super helpful. You can easily sort, organize, and manage products with their drag and drop sorting tool and actually directly edit and crop product photos all in one place. That way you can showcase your products at their absolute best. You can get ahead of sales, promotions and new product lines by scheduling product to appear on your website at a specific date. That way everything goes live at the same time. Squarespace helps you manage inventory with easy to use interfaces and quick views into stock levels. Their commerce platform has everything needed to sell products, build customer loyalty and grow your business. And if any challenges come up, Squarespace offers 24 seven customer support and are always ready to help. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexa Sunshine 83 to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other wedding dress recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alexandra 83 Sorry, I don't know why I just did that. To keep up to date with me during the week, I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new Sunday Sunday video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I'll love you lots. Bye.